The albedo is an RGB map containing two types of information. It carries the reflectance values for our metal areas and the diffuse reflected color for the dielectrics. Now that we are aware of what information this map tells the BRDF, we can have a better understanding of how to construct it. An albedo map should be considered relatively flat in tonality with low contrast between color, vibrance, or saturation. When we are creating color for our dielectric materials, we do not want our values to be either too dark or too bright. We have to remember that these values are representing diffuse reflection, which usually tend to be lighter in tone than we generally remember. With that in mind, the ideal range for dielectric color values are within roughly 30 to 240 sRGB. This range deviates fairly drastically for metals. We need to remember that for metallic materials, the albedo map represents the specular reflection. Due to the fact that metals are roughly 60 to 100% reflective, the ideal range for color values shifts towards 180 to 255 sRGB. It is important to keep the albedo map with color values only and clear of all lighting information as well. In the PBR workflow, we utilize other maps to drive the lighting information of the material. By adding lighting information into the albedo map, we are creating potential for the material to look inconsistent in various lighting conditions. Instead, we create other maps to input into the BRDF, which we will talk about in a later video. Remember that anything discussed in this video and in the preceding videos are purely guidelines and do not need to be adhered to 100% in order to qualify as PBR. All ranges are approximate and should be considered a guide rather than a restriction. With art, creative license should remain the most important.